On my way home, I was mugged. The mugger. He took something very important. Wait, 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 wait. This is my story. Get out of here, Phil. It all started long time ago. Like, maybe six months or something. That long time. Anyway, get inside. Long time ago, there was this kid. Barely a superhero. I mean, everyone called him a superhero because he was really hot and everything. But that kid is obviously yours truly. Get on with it. Shut up, you. Anyway, because somebody's impatient, this is the story of how I became the awesome, super awesome person. Did I mention I'm awesome? Person that, well, I mean, superhero, come on. Anyway, get inside track again. Thanks, guy. I'm just gonna, you know what, just roll the film. So, my buddy Rat was uh, talking about this thing called Naked Wednesdays. Now, I know it sounds weird, I know it sounds weird, but but it's going to be the coolest thing ever. You just got to give it to... Who, who the hell are you? Oh! You're awake. It's about Hardly. time. Five more minutes, honey? No. Alright. Where am I? Uh, welcome to the agency. You are in an undisclosed location called Project Mastodon. No. Should we get here? I get this. Uh, this that's, that's a weird one. What's it mean? It's meant to mean big or mighty. Like us. You know, I, I, I mean, I can't see. I can't have uh, uh, flashlights in my face, but... Speaking, is that a... Is that a phone flashlight? Can't, couldn't you guys, like, afford a better flashlight? I mean, I'd hope so. We buy our own, uh, phones, because they are not necessary in our line of work. But all you need to know about Project Mastodon is this place right here is all in your head. 
because we see we use hollow projections to make this whole building look like the way you perceive it, not the way we perceive it. Is that why it looks that, like a hunk of garbage? This must be your attic, I guess. Yes, but the project is very important for many different reasons. It's very experimental. You see, the reason why I see your attic right now is because we are neurally linked at the moment. Which means I see what you see. So, you're in my head? Eh, in a matter of saying, yes. Well, what's your name? My name is Agent 8970913. Sounds like you almost can't remember that. Uh, right, it's pretty Mr. complicated. Alright, Mr. Agent 8, uh, 9, numbers. No, you know what? You're Fred. Sup, Fred. If a name is what you require, you may call me Fred. Well, I was gonna do it anyway, so. Cause, I mean, why am I here? Well, you have something that we require. Far from that. You see, the reason why we saved you is you're, uh, you have a superpower, you see, type of deal. I mean, if that's what you want to call it. You see, you have a small healing factor. I don't know whether you know about it or not, but if you do know about it, you know that we could replicate it to be, uh, even more powerful. Who knows? Maybe if you play your cards right, you could yeah, become I, one of us. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I really don't. Unless you're too poor to have electricity. I mean, well, I think I see a light bulb right up there. If you want to just go. You see, the director, the director kind of wants to talk. No, shut up. The, who? the leader of our project, the director, would like to speak to you about your power and everything else personally. That's what she said. Alright, bring this goon in. You know what? Are you are you wearing sweatpants? Yes, I, I kinda couldn't find my uniform this morning. I I spilled coffee on it. We've we've all done that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like you, Fred. My boy Fred. Agency guys. Fred doesn't seem that bad, though. Oh, oh, look at that. They can't be that bad. Give me water. Now, how was I supposed to drink that with my hands down? You know what? I don't care. I spilled some on me. Change your pants. I'm did I embarrass you or something. I mean, well, kind of. They're not the right color, but close enough. Oh, close enough. You're right. You're right. So the director will speak to you shortly.
Whenever you're ready. What, what happened to your binds? Hmm? I don't know. They just... They... They, they disappeared. They were part of the hollow hologram thing, right? Must be a malfunction. Not really. No. But, whatever you say. Mm. You know, what was the point of just tying my hands, not tying me to the chair, not tying my feet? I, I, I do appreciate this water, though. I mean... Well, it is hot up in this environment you've uh, kindly uh, replicated for but, us. But how'd you expect me to drink the water with my hands like this? Come on, Fred. Use that pea-sized All I know is that the director likes more fine establishments, so if you would think of another uh, place for us, that'd be great. Um... What kind of draw on a blank? No, no, no. I got, I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't worry. I, I got it. Ah, looks like the stress is too much for him to handle. Teleportation must have blew his mind too hard. No matter. I'll go get the director. Well, hello, sir. Well, hello. Let's take a seat. Yes, yes. I am the director. I am the director of the agency. What's the agency? I didn't. Friend told me all about it, but I'm not exactly what it is. Anything continue? Well, you see, the government agency is, uh. We deal with a lot of, uh, weird occurrences on this planet. You see, we deal with. What do you see? We deal with extraterrestrial and, uh. Mm -hmm. mythological threats. Things that, if the public knew, uh. would be extremely, uh. dangerous to national security. So we deal with a lot of that stuff. And you should know better than anybody. Ever since that kid from Greensville, I think, put on that mask, things just have been getting weirder and weirder in this Yeah, didn't it all world. occur over some kind of knife or something? Some grim dude. Yeah, we something. Don't, we like don't that. want to talk about him. He's, he's a moron. All that matters now is we need your help for what's coming. Well, I mean, what's in it for me? <laughs> do I get, do I get powers? Well, you see, we mainly use powers from your kind, since you already have a power. No. You have a, you have a small healing factor. Oh, I thought you were gonna send power to pick up girls. No. Not really. I mean, look at that. I still got the marks from the binding or the rope that you tied me up with. Continue. Yes, we are sorry we had to, we had to take precautions yeah, with that. It is, it is so where's Fred? Where's Fred? Yeah, Fred. Fred had... You know, the, uh, the guy with the numbers? Fred had other business to attend to. And I bet you're wondering why we look alike. No, not really. You're not really questioning why we look alike? No. That we have face morphing technology built into our masks that make us change into anyone we feel like. Really? Yes. I don't care. But this opportunity presented to you today mm -hmm. is very important. Yeah. Will you quit interrupting me? I am trying to have a civilized conversation with you. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Froggy me throat? I am quite thirsty, if you don't mind. You see, I like to think of myself as a very influential man. A man that has a very fine taste when it comes to getting things done. Oh yeah, I mean, I like I like tea too, so I, I definitely feel... Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're a kid. I, I mean, talk I could kind of tell you the mask. Were you even listening to anything I said at all? That I could look like anyone? No. Whenever I feel like it, even a kid? No. Your age? Didn't, didn't Fred tell you? I just woke up, like, half an hour ago. That you don't pay attention? Yeah. Ah, Fred's my boy. We go way back to like half an hour ago, man. But we need your help. Like, we need your help to save the world. You see, there are things coming that you can't even begin to comprehend. But you see, 
we don't want to save the whole world. We just want to save the United States so out of the ashes of the rest of the world, the U.S. could take over the world. Well, I mean, I get Canada, because, you know, they lied about Canadian bacon, it's just ham. But, I mean, what about the rest of it? What are you going to do with all that? What about all the people? All the people are useless if they're not from the United States. They're, they could all die for all I care. I could care less about them. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm yelling again. I have a very short fuse sometimes. But all that matters is a very simple fact. Why are we in the kitchen? Why are we in the kitchen? Yeah, I don't like this room. This is your visualization. I got shot here. Good point. I guess this is one of your most recent memories, so you visualized one of the last places you saw. Yeah, it was Fred's fault. Yes, but I'd like to show you our powers first, because you see, you, my friend, are a very special kind of person. You see, we call your species touched, and the reason we call Mike. you touched is because you've been touched with gifts from, uh, well, not gifts, but if you want to call them uh, experiments that, the, that these extraterrestrials have kind of planted in you. I'm talking about like special, like different from everybody else that has like, is very powerful if used correctly. Sounds like you don't really care. I don't really care. Whatever, show me. I do care, I'll show you these powers. Alright. You wonder why we brought you out here? Kinda. We'd like you, we'd like to know if you would uh, accept our deal to join the agency. So, so, let me get this straight. You want me to accept the deal where you group of nitwits run around and basically blow off the whole world except for the United States, correct? Basically. And you want to save just the United States. So, so what would happen if all the mythological whatever uh, supernatural the the scary stuff that you guys deal with happens in other countries do you deal with those you could care less about that their countries well but wouldn't you guys want to take over the territory at least so wouldn't you want to keep the people there safe and listen, integrate the people and... listen we don't got time for this are you taking the uh, deal uh, uh, or uh, not uh, are you taking the deal yeah. or not sir? sorry i got a bug in my mouth um, so, sorry, not so. actually, I'm not sorry about this at all. I'm gonna have to politely decline, and, I mean, you're, I, I, you'd have to be stupid for me to, oh, oh, hi there. Well, I, I didn't, hold on, I didn't mind you. What, what's your name? Agent Numbers, you know what? Your new name? Pablo. Fred and Pablo. If you guys had a kid, it'd be Fabio. Well, it'd I'm definitely afraid, be Fabio. I'm afraid you won't be able to name any other of our people. Because you see, since you denied our offer, Fred, we're going to Fred, have to Fred, kill you. Fred, 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 shut up. What is that? Oh, that's, that's what that is. Uh. <laughs> Let's head back. You, you bury him. I'll head back and tell the director. All right. But you ain't gonna be! <sighs> well, we got a runner. Looks like this is a two-man job.
Don't move. Don't move. Dude. What's the gun gonna do? You can't kill me! I'm out! A nice day for a walk, isn't it? Yes! Hear that? Hear what, sir? You want me to handle it? No, I've got this. Go finish the preparation. Close, I must hurt you, dude. I set this gun to stun. It won't kill you, but we're gonna take you back to the agency to have tests on you. Would it really kill me anyway? I mean, you guys haven't had any luck yet. We're gonna have a experiment stun to see what we did to you. I know. I, I mean, we all know what you did to me. So, but I just uh... put the gun down. What are you doing to me? Put the gun down now. You're going to forget this whole day. And return to the agency. You're gonna tell your boss that you got away, that something happened. I don't really care. Leave. Ha <laughs> ha! Can I can I get Panson? No. <sighs> My name's Patriarch. Nice to meet you, Patriarch. Oh yeah, we're brothers now. We need to talk. Alright, what's up, man? <sighs> A little messy up here. I, I, I definitely... Wait a minute. This attic. It looks... Uh, Familiar, I think. I think they. Is this your house? They they interrogated me here. Doesn't matter where they interrogated me. They interrogated me here. Yeah, yeah. I sat right there. You have no cause to worry. We're not as barbaric. I swear to God, if I'm getting interrogated again, someone's gonna. Ooh, I'm gonna make someone pay. I'm gonna pick this thing up right here, and I'm gonna just. Listen, we are not as barbaric as those agency men. Then why does he have a barbarian sword? I like it, alright? It's fun. It's good to kill people. You might want to uh, adjust your know. Listen, listen, listen. You have abilities that can be useful to us. Yeah, that's what they said too. We won't kill you. We'll pay you. However, I, mean, I mean, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, but to fight an army, man, I mean, come on. You wanna... They showed me what they can do. You're... It's going to be at least a little bit more than 20 bucks. All right, listen. If you catch my drift. We'll work out the deal of your contract later. No, 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 no. How do I even know you've got the money? You're kidding, right? You think I would have gone out of my way to recruit someone like you if I didn't have money? Yeah. I mean, look at me, I'm awesome. Who wouldn't want me? Apparently the agency. They just tried to get me! And then when I said no, they tried to kill me. But we'll talk about that later. Because they can't kill you. That's why I need you on my side. Ah, so you know. You're one of the touched. How could I not? Let me put it simply. You're going to work for me. Got that? How much? However much I say. I don't care what I have to do, honestly. To an extent. Five grand a month. Honey, you gotta keep going. For starters. Uh-uh. 
Where is it? Sure. I'll take, I'll take five grand an hour. I know how rich you are. No, 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 no. Five grand an hour is a little pricey. Five grand a day. Five grand any time I need a job done. How's that? No! No! That's five thousand dollars! Any time I need a job done? No! You don't know how many jobs I can have you doing. We'll keep going! Seven! Ten. Seven million. Done. I know how rich you are. You like? Okay. If I took Batman and Tony Stark from different universes, combined it, doubled it, tripled that, and then quadrupled it, and multiplied it by how much the United States is in debt by. That's about how much money you got. <sighs> You're going to work for how much I tell you, and that's it. Do you understand? No. You're going to do it anyway. Says who? Says I. But, 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 but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'd like to know. What do you have against me? We both know you can't try to say, or I'll kill ya, because you kinda can't die. Look, I have powers. You don't. You're just some rich butthead. Or I could chain you up to several thousand pounds of weight and throw you in the middle of an ocean. Can't die. And you'll be stuck at the bottom of the ocean for the rest of eternity. How's that sound? Eventually the chains will rust. Or I could just, you know, break my limbs and then pick them back up. Alright, calm down, Aquaman. I'll pay you a hundred per job. <laughs> okay. No, 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 Go write me a check for a hundred thousand dollars. I love you. I love you too down there. No, you'll need a name. Yes. I have needed a protector. Someone. Of a high order. Ooh, shiny. How would you like to be my archangel? I'm gonna need a weapon. We'll work on that. Um, it's something. I mean, a warrior. I've had this lying around for a while. Ooh. I could, I could uh, train with this. It looks a little dull, but. Here's your coin back. <laughs> yeah. I could, uh, I could train with, uh, this. Alright. Do you like him? Do you need him? Nice working with you. No, no, no. Do you need him? Uh... He's the one writing your check, so I, I suggest you leave him alive. Alright. Let's... I could, uh, duck your head for me. I could, uh, get used to this and... Ooh, it's even got a pommel. All right, head out there. I'll send you the details. Wait, I'm going out now? Well, yeah, I'm having them write the check right now for a reason. But I need a... Do I need a suit? You're fine. All right. You what? <sighs> Yo. So let me get this straight. You let this boy get the upper hand on you, isn't that right? And then you have the gall to come back here and tell me this yourself. Uh, never in a century, you understand that? Look at me when I'm talking to you. A century has our agency been compromised like this. You realize he will destroy everything we're working towards? I, g I guess I'm over exaggerating. I will not tolerate this failure from you or any of you for that matter. Again, you understand. Hmm. 
No matter. The ascension has already begun. And soon, everyone will be powerless to stop it. No matter. I'll infiltrate this superhero problem myself. Is this thing on? Okay. Welcome to agency member 0195. Going to work out. I know we're not supposed to have cameras here on the premises, but no biggie, no biggie. I do this all the time. Ah. I do this for my own personal enjoyment, honestly. No one sees these but me. They're just self-gratifying, I guess. I really don't know. Oh, sir. Sir. Holy crap. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry, director. I did just mean to... Wait. You're not the director. Who, who are you? Oh, oh my god! It's not even human! What is it? Ah!